Oh, you can't really open your can't legs. You're like limited to tiny like steps. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. You join Zoe and I down on the seafront. Trying to hold your hand, but I'm missing. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys yet. Actually, I did. I filmed a clip yesterday. I started to vlog yesterday, but then just gave up. It wasn't really the right day to vlog. I'll insert a little clip now, explaining about Nala. We had to take Nala to the vets last night. She was being sick a couple of times. I kept on throwing up her food a couple of days ago, and we spoke to the vets. We got some special food for her that's like much lighter on her stomach, um, which went really, really well. And she stopped throwing up completely. And then yesterday, she was sick twice. Yeah, twice yesterday. A few times yesterday. So we rung up the vets, and they were like, okay, why don't you bring her in? So we had to bring her in last night, and she stayed there overnight. And they were like, monitored her and watched her, and um, they said that everything was all good. We spoke to them last night, they did blood tests and they came back all good. Then we just spoke to them this morning and they were saying all the blood tests came back good. She's eating again, she hasn't been sick. The only thing that they're slightly worried about is that she's got abdominal pain, so her stomach hurts. So they're gonna do a scan now on her stomach to make sure that it's that it's all good. The only thing with that is that she has to be sedated slightly and they have to shave all of her hair all around the sides and everything, so she's gonna come back like a bald little pup. Um, so that's happening right now. She's getting sedated and having a, a scan, so not the nicest. And she really, really doesn't like the vets. Like whenever Buzz has been to the vets before, he doesn't mind it too much. He just sees it as like, oh, I'm going on a little trip away. I'm gonna go hang out with some different people. And he gets super excited. Like we walk into the vets just for like a checkup and Buzz's tail's like wagging, he's loving it. If you go in with Nala, she's like, doesn't like it at all. So that's the only thing that Zoe and I are like, She's gonna be so pissed off when she gets home. So since then we have had some good updates. Uh, she's literally getting another blood test done right now. And then, oh, I should have bought my kayaks. Why did I not do that? Nala's currently getting another blood test done now just to check that there was no change from the results of the blood test yesterday. But they're feeling confident. And then, uh, and then we're gonna be picking her up at two o'clock today. We're coming down here to meet my mum, my dad. Buzzy boy. Hello. Hey, mate. Hello. Hey. What's up? You're wet. You're wet. And also, Poppy and Sean are down here, and two cousins, and my cousin's boyfriend. So, we've got quite a few of us down here. All come down for breakfast. Go Chef in. Everyone has rinsed my new shoes. You've seen them. I walked into the office the other day and Holly was like, what are those? Um, <laughs> Once they get beaten up, they'll be all Why good. Me as a chef? Are you the checkered apron. Yes. Hello. Oh, we've got loads of fruit. fruit. Are these frozen? Yeah. It's my a gosh, very my favourite. Imagine having that one slice. Made with cream cheese. The whole thing, 32 pounds. That's the goal in life. Summer greens, wild rice and roasted broccoli. That looks good. Beetroot, lentil and go oh, I don't like goat's cheese. Oh my gosh. So we finished up at the beach. You can answer if you want. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I know we finished up at the beach. I'm here. Yeah, I mean, what are you on about? Didn't film too much. And number one, because we were just chilling with the family, but number two, because it was so windy that I, and I don't have the little fluffy thing on top of my camera at the moment, I need to get a new one of them so you just wouldn't be able to hear anything. Anyways, we've just been to Gail's Bakery, bought some lunch for Zoe and I, bought some lunch for my parents because they're going off to, uh, off to London today actually, for like literally just for a couple of hours. So I got them some snacks to eat in the car. Uh, still on the no coffee, today is day four, of having no coffee. I don't know how much I've told you about this, but basically I have one, maybe two coffees every single day. I don't think I'm addicted, but that is what somebody who is addicted to coffee would say, that they're not addicted. So to prove to myself that I'm not addicted, um, I'm doing one week with no coffee. And so far day four, this is the first time I'm having a decaf. Because I didn't really think about having decafs. I love the taste of coffee, and that's one thing I've missed is the taste and the smell. So Poppy a minute ago was like, why don't you just drink decaf? And I was like, genius. So I uh, just got myself a decaf. 
the first day I was doing no coffee, I had a really bad headache in the morning, and I, I'm putting that down to not having it. It might have been for other reasons. Uh, the second day, also had a really bad headache. Yesterday, I was okay. Today, I feel completely fine. Yeah, so I don't feel like I need coffee at all. Saying that, as soon as the seven days is up, I am gonna go back to drinking coffee, because I like it. But I just wanna prove to myself that I don't need it. Mum and Dad have put a dartboard up. Only for one night. Let me see, right. go on. No, because you're gonna film me being crap now. Oh, zero. Oh, five. <laughs> 25. Not good. Big score. Not Let good. me try. One. 21. 41. Watch the glass window at the top. Oh, double 16. Treble 16, 48. Oh, treble. 58, 65, 75, 78. Is that good? That would have been one of That's the very ones. good. Oh, is it addictive though? Yeah, I just want to get a bullseye. <laughs> I'm going to go for the 20s, right? Watch that bow line. At least it's on the board. today. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's all right, isn't it? I mean, That's I don't know. <laughs> That's good. Bye. See you later. Do you want a massage, Buzzy? I'll give you a little back massage. Hello, mate. Hello. So I just put it there? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Oh, that's so chilled. <laughs> there's people that could be listening to us right now. I know, I did just say to Zoe, I don't know if I want to film this part of the video in Mum and Dad's garden. I think we just have to chat, like, just like, you know, we're just having a chat. Well, no, the only thing that I'm thinking is I can't be afraid of that being weird when I'm about to upload it to, what, half a million people? Well, exactly, they'll probably see it anyway. Yeah, our friends uploaded a video the other day and they answered some really good couple questions, some oh. really interesting ones. Can I just say, I've not seen the video and I don't know. So are you just about to like land some really heavy duty questions on me? No, they were just like couple questions, but they were really interesting. Okay, all right. I used to have a seagull that permanently every morning would land on top of that roof there, next to my bedroom window and hit its beak on the window. Why? What just to piss to me up? off and I would literally go up to it on the window and bang back and it would just be like, what? <laughs> it literally wouldn't move. Every morning it That's would so bang funny. its beak on the window to wake me up. I'm trying to get these questions, guys. I'll turn the camera back on when I can find them. <laughs> okay, guys, Daniel's just sent through the questions. We've listened to number one and he's an idiot. You might have the first, first question was, how big is your strong? Right, question number two, supposedly. Your first reaction to seeing, so it's strong. <laughs> 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 These are not the questions. This is why we can't film in my mum and dad's garden. <laughs> oh my god. Was it, what was my reaction? Yeah, what was Zoe's first reaction to seeing said schlong? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. He still hasn't even given us the list of actual questions. Third one. Oh, here we go. I feel like it's not going to be... I feel like he's not going to type them. Do you think he's going to just send videos? Want the video or type? Video. <laughs> Let's do videos. Okay. Then we'll make it more fun. Question number one. Okay. I have no idea whether he's going to be serious now or not. Legit question. Is it okay to fancy other people? Is it okay to fancy other people? This is okay. But I what? like this question. Okay, so okay, you say first. Straight answer. Yeah. I think yeah. But to me, fancying is like more than just thinking someone's attractive or, you, or that you have a crush on them. Fancying is when you're like no, you can't I've... stop thinking about them. No, and you're like... that's not fancying. Yeah. Fancying them's just like me fancying Taylor Swift. Just like she's cool. Think she's attractive. No, that's but you thinking that's she's cool and attractive. That doesn't mean you fancy her. All right, I'm gonna get up the definition for fancy. Okay, because if you said to me, I really fancy that girl that works in the coffee shop or something, I'd be like, No, but it's oh. not. <laughs> I think I would be a bit not worried, but I would be a bit like, Oh, really? 
I also think it's different for you to fancy either a feeling, celebrity than Either to feeling a desire or a liking for. Okay, but let's say this then. Is it okay for me to fancy a random guy? Yeah, I think so. Like if someone, if someone like hot water down the street, you're like, you no, fancy no. him. But you're not going to go up to him and start a relation. Like, then start. Okay, if you action a, the fancy, then that's where it's wrong. But do you think there's a difference between fancying a celebrity and fancying like a guy we might meet at the beach one day? Because I, no, I, feel I think like, that's fine. No, but I feel like there is a difference between the two. I think if you were like... Because with a celebrity, it's like unobtainable. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's never going to happen. But it depends whether you want it to happen or not. That's the difference. You can still fancy someone, but I don't want it to happen. I can safely say I don't fancy anybody except you. <laughs> yeah, but would but what I'm saying is, is it okay to fancy anybody? It's not do you. Like if there was someone that was just like, I think oh he's cool, I fancy him a bit. No, but, but I I'm never going to do anything. My problem is like, like I you're not going to say it. that because I can't fancy someone unless I know them. But For see, me, that's why like, I don't think. I think you're confused between the word fancy and like. I could say like. that I think someone is attractive, or I could be like, oh my god, he looks hot or something. Yeah, but just like he's a cool guy and he's hot. Like Harry Styles. You definitely fancy Harry Styles. I don't fancy Harry Styles. You met him, you really liked him, and you think he's hot. No, but I don't... That's really, just like... I don't fancy I don't think, him. I just okay. think he's like... He's really cool, but he's also very attractive. But I don't... Yeah. I don't like... I think that's him. a fancy then, just like a light-hearted... Yeah, I fancy him a bit. Really? But I, I think like, we both I just have like different words of fancy, fancy yeah. Is, I grew up with fancying being someone you actually wanted to date. Yeah, but that's very young, isn't it? Yeah, I get Like, if you... I bet you, if you ask my mum... Is that again? We're going to celebrities because I just don't know their friends. But if you said to my mum, "Oh, is there anyone you fancy?" I bet she'd be like, "Oh," and then name a singer or something. Yeah, but imagine if she said like your dad's friend. That's that. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It's different. Like if your mum was like, "Yeah, I really fancy like Nick's best friend," it would be like, "Oh, this yeah. is a bit strange." But if she said, "Oh, I really fancy David Williams or something," then you'd be like, "Oh, okay, yeah." I think, it, I think it's overall, harmless. I think it's, it's okay. Yeah. The only issue would be if you wanted to action it, mm. or if you were worried with your relationship and you didn't feel secure, and then they started saying, "Oh, I really fancy that person." You're like, "Okay, we're not going great," <laughs> and you fancy them. That's a good or sign. Or if you're like so different from the person that you fancy, like me and Taylor Swift are very different. And that makes yeah, me question. You don't feel why you, <laughs> <laughs> And that makes me question why you like me. <laughs> no, it does no, I'm not. Joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, question two. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna say? The cancer guy's really thought-provoking stuff here. Question number two. <laughs> Seeing as you're so busy, how do you find time to be romantic? Seeing as you're so busy, how do you find time to be romantic? Does he mean being romantic, or does he mean something else? He said romantic. Okay. If he meant something else, then he, sh he should have just said something else. I... So... I don't think... Yeah, let's I'll... take turns okay. answering. Okay, So... I wouldn't necessarily say we're a very romantic couple. I think we have, like, our little, like, quirks and cute things, but... Alfie is not the most romantic, I wouldn't say. I think you're funny and you're very thoughtful, but I wouldn't say you're romantic. Would you agree? Your dad this is romantic. Is, this isn't for me to okay, agree. Okay, so Alfie's dad is very romantic. You haven't quite, like, taken that on. But how do we find time? We don't really. <laughs> I think... It is really hard. I think our brains are so full of so many different things that we're doing. And that's one thing that we're not very good at. Which, I'm not saying that's a, an okay thing because we're busy to not be romantic. A lot of couples that I know who are crazy busy have things like once a week, every week, on that Thursday, let's just say, they have date night and they make sure they're both but dressed up really nice. that's hard for us to do too to do because we're, we're always both yeah. like... Like the last this week just gone, I was in Paris, next week I'm away Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like, I'm away Friday. Like, it is hard to juggle that, but we do but always saying, find time to shouldn't. speak. I think for us it's like we make time for each other every single day and whatever we choose to do with that time, whether we like talk about the week we've had or like things we've been working on or like our views on things like we are constantly like almost that's not romantic no, no it's not romantic our views on that's literally the opposite no of but romance. we make time for each other to like talk and like hang out so no not romantic we're not the most romantic couple i think people probably would disagree though but do you, we do often we are it depends we do what you see things. as romance if you see like going out on dates and stuff like that then no we're not very romantic if you just see it's like spending time together and stuff and like then yeah and like running around on inflatable courses and stuff 
<laughs> then that's quite. I we're mean... not the most romantic. No. No. We're not. <laughs> I think we could straight. work on that though. Oh, 100%. I Although think we... Alfie is extremely thoughtful. All we need to do is just prioritise it. But you are extremely thoughtful and that sort of comes into being romantic. Like, Alfie will always think of me and, like, grab me a little wagamama or, like... Or the other day I bought him an iced coffee or, like, we always think of each yeah. other. But that's not necessarily romantic, it's just being thoughtful yeah. and nice <laughs> to one another. Next question. We're getting some deep insight into your relationship here, guys. Fantastic, fantastic. So... Was it love at first sight? Because <laughs> it took you a long time to say No, we're not talking about saying the words I love you. We're talking <laughs> love at first sight. I don't know if I really believe in love at first sight. It's different with us because the first time we saw each other was each other's videos rather than in person. It's not like we saw each other across a bar or at a party or anything like that. The first time we did see each other in person was at a party. But I didn't, I didn't know you. We didn't know each other. We didn't know who I didn't know who you were. You had seen a couple of all like the group of like mine and Marcus and everyone's videos, but we didn't I didn't I didn't know your name, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel or anything like that. Um even though you did have double my subscribers. Did you notice me? Like did you see me at the party and things? Yeah, oh, I saw you at the party. What did you think? You were wearing those black leggings that you always wore. Yeah, I was wearing the um, disco pants. Disco pants. And a stripy t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been like, hmm, I'm going to go and. Oh no. To be like, oh, I'm going to go chat to that person. Like, that's not me. Obviously, I saw you. You. Excuse me, did you just say I'm not the sort of person to go up to someone and start chatting to them? In a romantic way. No way. Okay. Not in a romantic way. Yeah, okay, way. I see that. But I'd never go up to a girl and be like, hey, or should I Alfie's number? like so confident speaking to people. Unless, I guess, unless you actually fancy no, them or something. Yeah, it's, no, 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 I'm not shy. If it was romantic, I wouldn't be shy. I just don't think I'd do it. Mm. It's not because I'm shy. You weren't that shy when you started I've talking I've never to me. been somebody that's like, there's, you know how there's just some people in life who just want the relationship, they want to get, like, that's all they want. Like, I've got some friends that when they're single or when they are single, whatever, are like, I want to get into a relationship, I want a girlfriend, I want a boyfriend, that's all I want. Mm. I've never been that kind of person. I'm fine on my own and if I was find somebody that's cool as well do you know what I mean yeah but like, I've never been the person that's like I've been single now for three years oh my god do you know what I mean like, I don't yeah. care about that um, was it so was it love at first sight part of me wants to say no because we just saw each other's videos mm. however one weird thing the first time we actually ever spoke to each other we spoke on Skype on video for seven hours. That's not normal. Yeah, I think... So there's something weird there. I think we very quickly fell in love. We got on very well. Yeah. And, like, it was so, like, we just didn't have any time where we weren't speaking to each other. Yeah, so that's weird. That's the only thing that's, like... I don't think I've ever, like, had love at first sight because, for me, a really huge part of, like getting to know someone and like being in love with someone is, is the getting to know them part mm. yeah so unless you just went purely based off looks how do you fall in love at first sight do you see what I mean yeah no I see what you mean if you hadn't ended up with each other where do you think you'd be who do you think you'd be with mm. <laughs> I would still be doing YouTube because we were both yeah, still doing YouTube I'd still be doing YouTube I reckon I'd probably be like Either living in London or living in maybe even in America or something. Do you know what? I feel like the whole like dynamics of YouTube would be, be like slightly different because back then it was beauty so YouTubers and like boy vloggers didn't ever meet. Meet. So I mean, I was the first together. people. They're like the beauty world. And Zoe's audience world. was like the beauty audience, and mine was like the vlogging audience. And when me and Zoe filmed a video together. Our subscribers literally went over and subscribed like it, the like, majority doubled. to every to the Zoe yeah, and to me. It was like crazy. it was crazy the amount of people because they just never ever the beauty audience They'd not didn't, seen that content. didn't know there was vloggers yeah. and the vloggers didn't know there was beauty people on YouTube. So it was like two worlds collide. I'm sure that would have happened, of course, yeah, if we did happened. a film. But uh like me and Marcus and all of the boys and like hanging out with you guys, all the girls, mm. was like instant smash and, then we and everyone's channels was blowing then, up and yeah. everything i think i'd probably be in america like maybe would i be in america oh my god i think i'd still be in wiltshire do you think i don't know like i 
like I would never just randomly come but to I Brighton if Brighton. I didn't. Yeah, make I it. love Brighton. No, I think I'd have a, a super small flat in Brighton, and then just be like away all the time, just filming videos for different YouTubers. I don't know what I would do. I think I would still be doing YouTube. I would still be doing this, but I don't think it would be at the like the level it ever got to. No, I don't think it would be because we I wouldn't film with would everyone be with. as much. Yeah. I, I feel like in my head I would just I wouldn't be with a YouTuber. I think I'd probably be with Taylor or Emma Watson. <laughs> that would have definitely happened. Mm. Damn, you went down the wrong road. I know. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> but then could you be with somebody, just pretend you do have the following you do now, mm. with somebody that... Totally didn't get it. Yeah. I don't like, imagine being with a boyfriend now that was like, oh, people keep on stopping you, it's so annoying. Can you not just say no pictures when you're walking around? Like, I've got some friends of mine, and it's cool, and I still see them, but when I'm with them in town and that, they're like, oh, it is really annoying. And I'm like, I can't help it. Like, I'm, I suppose you just wouldn't be with that know. person. You wouldn't be with a boyfriend if they were like yeah, that. Yeah, you'd yeah. be with someone who was accepting of what you did, I guess. You'd probably be with somebody in a similar industry, like a model or something maybe. that's like a similar industry that gets social media. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Last one, guys. What is your biggest argument that you have? Oh, the biggest. So oh, this I isn't, love this. This isn't the biggest we've ever had. This is the biggest we, like ongoing kind of thing, that the argument we have, I'm guessing. Do you think? Yeah. So this is like the most ongoing argument. Like just constant. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like the thing that we always bicker about the most. Yeah, rather than the big time we've, we've had is have. Switching over onto my phone for this last bit because my camera's being super weird. The memory card's full, but it just we stopped working. Won't let you anything. I think most but of I'm our like... arguments are probably work related because we live together, we work in the same industry. We in both, the same office. In the same office. We both work, we both do the same thing but we have our own like things Thing. we're working on we don't really work on too many things together although we do have i would say more this year that we're working on together um but i think it is probably mostly work related or do you remember we used to argue a bit about when you would daily vlog because that's obviously very intense for any couple like mm. i commend any like families that can daily vlog like but it's very different with the family vlog though because it's the whole family, so if one person doesn't want to be in the vlog, the other person can vlog and not be That's in it so, so much. True. Whereas when I'm daily vlogging, it's it's all me. It wasn't a couple's vlog kind of thing. I'd love to do a whole separate video, like long, like an hour long kind of About thing, daily chatting. Vlogging. And I'd love to chat to some other people that either still daily vlog or have stopped daily vlogging. I was chatting to Louis about the effects. Anyway, this is another video. Daily vlogging yeah, is intense. Yeah, but daily vlogging, I would say we had a few arguments about that maybe two years ago. Yeah. Because I, I just was finding that really hard, but... <laughs> cool, we have to go now. Yeah, we, we have, have to go, go pick, pick up, up our dog. Up dog. Um, that's been fun. Thank you, Daniel, as well, and Bethany, for providing the questions and the little videos. If you want to check out their video that they did, it was a good one. Very good one. That's why we're doing this. I'll leave a link down below to them. Um, anyways, yeah, we need to leave my parents. We need to, fingers crossed, go and get our dog. Hopefully in the next clip we'll be, we'll be with Nala. Yo, my shoes are so squeaky because they're new, look. Oh yeah, check this door. Hey! Hi. Hello, puppy. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. You seem alright to be. Oh, hey. Oh, look Hello. Look Hello. Should we take the lead off of her? Are we going to go back home? Hello. You don't like your little bandage? No, she doesn't. You feeling sorry for yourself? <laughs> I'm still vlogging on my iPhone because my camera just is being weird. The memory card's being strange. I'm going to leave the vlog here because I tried to, as I said to you earlier on, I tried to vlog yesterday. I'm going to insert some clips from yesterday. But tonight, for the rest of the day, I just want to chill and hang out with Nala. I haven't seen her in like three days. So we're going to take her for a little walk. Going to feed her some of her special anti-whatever. Actually, one thing that is super interesting. She's got tablets for acid reflux and heartburn. And the woman's like, I don't know if you've heard of these tablets before. And I was like, hey, that's what I used to be on when my acid reflux was really bad. So Nala is in fact on the same medication that I was on when my chest was really bad. You probably don't care. Anyways, I'm going to leave the vlog here. 
we're just going to hang out, have a really, really chilled evening, take Nala for a walk and just give her lots of attention. So I'm going to leave you with some clips from yesterday, which will slightly allude to some videos that are coming this week coming up. Although actually I'm filming them this week. I don't know when they're going to go up, but I've got some big videos coming soon. I'll see you soon for a new vlog, guys. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the nice stuff, leave some lovely comments. I will reply to tons of them. Does that sound good? Let's have a chat in the comments. Let me ask you a question. Oh, that's a good one. Answer the questions that Zoe and I answered yourself. Or go proper old school YouTube and make a video response, like upload a video on Twitter or Instagram or on YouTube and tag Zoe and I and Daniel and Bethany and answer the questions yourself with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, your partner, or just by yourself. Would it work by yourself? Relationship Q&A. Maybe with a friend. I don't know. However you think. Answer it with what suits you. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I'll insert some little clips now. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How you doing? Town is literally, like, dead. It's super early. A couple of days ago, Zoe booked for us to come to breakfast in the Ivy, which is a new place in Brighton. I mean, we've been a couple of times since it's opened, but it's so lovely. Also, if you're wondering why we are more or less the only ones here, there's one other couple here. It's because it's 9 a.m. on a Saturday. It's not, like no one else comes for breakfast at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Thank you. This is literally the most Instagram, isn't it? Zoe spent the last five minutes in there laughing at my handbag. Why whenever I do I come out somewhere, the camera goes blue, one second. Instantly, there we go, so much better. Got a little fanny pack on me today. I think I'll just switch it up, get you an engagement anklet instead. You know, like one of those oh friendship God. ones that you like. Those, like <laughs> literal, ginormous ones. Oh my, look at that one, 5.46 carats. Yeah. That one's six carats, 40,000 pounds. I didn't even know you could get a diamond ring that's six carats. Get away. What do you reckon happens if you press that button? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to know. Should we go and ask them? No. Why not? I don't know what kind of market this is. I think it's clothes and sunglasses. Oh, and random tools. Not quite sure. Pause the video now and see if you recognise any of these. Hungry hyena. Mog, Alfie, oh, Shirley Hughes, Alfie and Annie Rose. Piece at last. Oh. Quite a night in, We've just come into the office to pick up a camera that I need for a video shoot I'm doing this coming week. I'm like, yeah, shooting something really, really cool. Super different to what I usually do. This camera might give you some clues and hints to, uh, to what kind of video we're shooting. We've got like a proper camcorder that Canon have lent us. So I'm super excited. This is gonna be so awesome. Like even now just playing around with this camera, like it, oh man. The feel and the look is so different to either this, which is the G7X or a digital SLR. Like using this now just reminds me why I love camcorders so much. Also, if you can hear this awful noise, what the heck, as I said that it stopped. Did you notice? Yeah. Ever since we came into the office, there has been this dreadful noise above and we don't know what it is, but it's been like, it sounds like a washing machine above the whole office. Canon, big love, thank you for lending me this. I will look after it. That's quite cool. Zoe's currently watering all the plants. You know earlier on when you laughed at my fanny pack, now look at it. Got another one. You look like a like a nineties dad going to the beach with his kids. I do. That's the kind of camcorder. I think that's why I like it because it's just so retro, like the zooming in and the zooming out. It's so like old school, like to hold a camcorder. I don't know. I love it. I love it. Maybe I'll shoot a daily vlog on that camera. I could vlog a day on the camcorder. That could be cool because it would just feel so different. We've got a poster of Joe 
in our office. I don't know, why do we have this? Um, it was in a magazine. Oh, it was in Shout magazine. We've got Joe on the wall in our office. 